Here's how the app works. Add players with the floating action button. Long press to edit a player's name or to delete the player. Tap on a player to add or subtract points. Use the menu to reset all scores or delete all players. This app uses a SQLite database called Scorekeeper, which is created by the code in the Player Database Helper class, a subclass of SQLite Open Helper. If you make any changes to the structure of your database, there's a constant in this class that keeps track of the version. This database hasn't been changed since it was built, so it's still at version 1. The SQL create entries string is a SQL statement that is used in the onCreate function to create the player table with the needed columns. The constants used for the table name and column names are defined in the player contract. Each table is entered as an inner class in the contract. Player entry is the inner class that defines constants for the player table. Implementing base columns helps us auto-generate IDs for each player in the player table. The player database helper helps create the database and the player contract defines constants for the table and column names. The final class used here for the database is the player provider. Player provider extends content provider. It is listed in the manifest. Player provider is a layer of abstraction that provides indirect access to the database. This is where functions like insert, update, delete, and query are defined. The first argument in each of these functions is a URI. The URI is a string like this. It looks like a web address and contains a path pointing to a record or set of records in the database. This URI points to the entire players table. The constants used to build URIs are also in the contract. Here's an example of how all of these pieces work together to add a new score to a player. When a player is selected, the on-item click listener for that player is called. The app grabs the player ID, appends it to the end of the URI, and the URI now points to that specific player. The URI is then sent with the intent to the edit score activity. In the edit score activity, the URI is set as current player URI. When a new score is ready to be saved, the current player URI is sent through the content resolver, which resolves the URI to the correct content provider and calls the player provider's update function with the current player URI and the new score. A similar method is used to reset all scores, except that we don't append an ID to the URI, and the URI points to all player records instead of one specific player. When the URI is then passed to the update function, all of the players are updated to have a score of zero.